Yeah! What up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. The semi trucks here. I'm really hoping that I don't get him stuck here on the property. Uh, for some weird reason, I just feel like there's a good probability that we're gonna have some trouble back here with this. It's a like a 52 foot, 50 foot trailer semi truck, and the decoys are here. Long story short. <sighs> well, good news. Uh, almost got stuck. I'll show you that in one second. I had a bad feeling that he was not going to be able to turn around back here. It's not quite enough room. And the sand, that's why it's called Sand Hill Flyway. Yeah, my lodge. Because we're out in the stands. Thank you! Woo! I'm glad that worked out. Here we go. Here we go. Holy smokes, I got a mess on my hands and I got no help. Gerald, he's in Oregon, like y'all know, elk hunting. And uh, I don't have it. I don't even have a trailer. That's why I had to put them back here. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. Oh yeah, huge, huge, huge! Shout out to Dive Bomb Industries, y'all. Y'all know the deal. I do not have to say very much about them. Very gracious of their support, of their help. They have not only over the past three years sponsored the YouTube channel uh, with decoys. But now they've completely as well sponsored the YouTube channel yet again, but sponsored the guide service as well. Thank you, Dive Bomb Decoys. You're amazing. If y'all have not checked out Dive Bomb Decoys, you need to. Uh, in this video, we're going to open up a lot of this and I'm going to show you what's up. Some of you have seen some of it. Some of you haven't. We have some new products in here. Right here we have roughly actually probably right at 200 dozen decoys. Now, if y'all don't know what Dive Bomb is, I love their silhouettes. One of their best products that they've ever came out with is their flocked silhouettes. It's the one product that they have. They also have, like y'all have seen, my, my floaters, I'll, I'll show you them in here in a little bit, but those flocked Canada silhouettes, all you honker hunters up north, to all of you lesser hunters down here in Kansas, Texas, Oklahoma, all of y'all, I'm telling you, if you want to put up a big spread for not near as much money, not even half as much money as a full body spread, try out Canada Silhouettes. That's what I've been using for the last three years and they're amazing. Now this is not only Silhouettes, we got a lot of socks in here as well. Check this out. We got the S3FI Canadas. Those are all dark Canada socks and we got a ton of them and a ton of snow socks and bags to go with everything awesome awesome now the true work begins i gotta get all this in there <sighs> and check this out my goodness i was like whoa stop my lord oh yeah he completely just obliterated the all yard here right at the septic that's great right where i wanted that to happen <laughs> Looks like it's all good though. Woo! Well, I put down the vlog because I was tired. I'll show you why. And because we got Fred back and I wanted to show you guys Frederick. Hi, buddy. Oh, he's back. He's back home. And he actually today, this morning, went on his first duck hunt of 2020. Oh, ho, ho. I can't tell you anything other than that. Uh, yeah, his first hunt out of the trainer. All I can say is I am very pleased. You guys will have to stick around for that video. That video should go up either tomorrow or Sunday. But what y'all came for, what y'all are here for, y'all want to see what Bobby is doing this year, okay? I get it. I get it. <laughs> I got them all in here. That's a lot of decoys, boys and gals. A lot. So, again, I want to uh, let you all know. Big shout out to Dive Bomb. Huge, massive, the biggest shout out to Dive Bomb for hooking it up. He hooked up uh, Sand Hill Flyways, the Lodge, and the YouTube channel. Uh, thank you, Cody. Cody, you're an amazing man. But this is what we got going on. 200 dozen total, uh, what we got here. I, I busted open some boxes just to g give you guys an example. So, first off, we have... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60 dozen brand new 
V2F Canada Silhouettes. Now the V2F are the flocked. Yes, the V2F flocked. This is them. And what do they come in? Like six different poses, five different poses. I know that they're, they are coming out with another like three new poses plus a double, a double pose. Uh, I don't think we have any of those decoys yet, but 60 dozen, bam, a lot. And yes, if you guys are curious, this is over here. Yeah, I still got all of my old decoys underneath there. So yes, uh, we'll get to that in a minute. So 60 dozen brand new flocked. And then we have, let's keep rolling with the Canada's. This I'm very, very excited about. 60 dozen, oh, I've never had this many. 60 dozen socks canada socks look at them bad boys how pretty are those amazing all their socks very easy they come assembled they break down you throw them right in the bag yes here's all the bags you all have seen the bags i don't have to show you the bags but 60 dozen of these okay and then on top of that i already had eight dozen of the talls but they sent me another dozen of the talls that's what i mean by the talls the talls are about for me waist height uh the regular one i'll just show you the difference the regular socks are about knee height so the reason for the talls so you can lay under them and um this is our go-to for this year i want i really want to show you guys this so this year instead of having to lay in white and mix snow goose decoys with dark decoys all the time to lay in painter suits or white this year we're going to use 60 dozen silhouettes 60 dozen dark canada socks and we're going to lay under an all dark spread with these hold on i'm getting there i'm getting there i'm getting there oh ho, ho. these bad boys right here yes gilly blankets they're not ghillie suits, ghillie blankets. And we have two different colors of these ghillie blankets. A dark, like a dark, like a dark dirt. Uh, these will, this color, this dark will work for wheat fields. And then this color will work for obviously corn fields, uh, milo fields, more fluffier trash fields. So that's the go-to. That's the, that's the one thing I am most excited for about my new spread is we're going to have a hundred like i said 60 dozen silhouettes 60 dozen dark socks making 120 dark 120 dozen dark decoys laying under ghillie blankets i think it's going to be the move i think it's going to be the move boys all right I had to catch my train of thought here now to finish it out with the canada decoys i got five dozen of those bad boys i've never shown you guys these this is the fully flocked they call them the black and white uh canada silhouettes these are right here this is what the, if you guys want to buy some it is the v2wb flocked uh, i think that stands for v2 black and white yes black and white what this is going to do is add a ton of depth a ton of contrast and those dark decoys mixed with 120 other dozen dark decoys they're going to pop and they're gonna draw a lot of attention. They look really good. There'll be no shine. Like I said, they're fully flocked. An amazing deal. They, a lot of people buy these and just run five, 10 dozen of these total on a uh, honker spreads up north and they work fabulous. So I'm really excited to put these to the test this year, but onto the snow decoys. Again, massive shout out to Dive Bomb industries not only do they let me have their shirt all year to use all season or however long i'm going to have it but they hook the entire lodge and youtube channel up with decoys if you guys want to check out any of these decoys i i if you guys need decoys please go check them out go down in the description uh, they don't break the bank for if you want a bunch of them put it that way dive bomb is priced if you want a bunch of them uh you're going to save some money comparatively and when you mix socks and solos you can do a lot of things and add a lot of motion. So look into them. So snow goose decoys. We got 50 dozen brand new regular snow socks. Now 
One thing about the snow socks and the Canada socks is I never had the sentry head. You know, with the heads up, neck up, I never had that. So it'll be a game changer. The heads being up like that, I can guarantee it an absolute game changer. So 50 dozen new regular white headed uh, dive bombs, snow goose, blah, 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 snow goose decoys. So 50 dozen plus 10 dozen of the talls yet again. So, yes, sir. A lot of times, uh, feeds here in Kansas, they'll kind of be half and half, or they'll be a third white to two thirds dark. So a lot of times when you've seen us hide in white, that's why. But there's a lot of times we actually have to hide in white because that's the only way to hide in the middle of the field when there's no snow goose when there's no snow geese around at all. And that's actually bad. That don't, that, that don't actually work as good as Gerald and I's theory with a huge 120 dozen dark spread laying under ghillie blankets. I am so excited to do that this year. That's, that's the one thing that's got me just, if y'all know, look, I love my duck hunting. Love it, love it, love it, love it. But when November comes around, so does the little geese, the cacklers and the lessers. And they have stole my heart for so many years because that's what we get a lot of here in Kansas. Tons of cacklers in the first two weeks of November. So again, this is what I'm most excited about. Our massive dark Canada spread. It's gonna be amazing. Y'all have to stick around this year. Huge spreads, huge hunts. But up till then, up till November, we'll be doing, still doing the public hunts with we still got to wait for big duck to come guys because i gotta use these darn floaters oh yeah i actually just used them today on some teal i used uh, about a dozen of the brown hen decoys on teal and they worked beautifully that was today on uh the hunt where fred was on so again that hunt will go up saturday or sunday but if you guys are looking for some new floaters new socks new silhouettes check out dive bomb look at that floater it does not get any better than that and look how wide the back is i got big hands that is a beautiful decoy y'all i'm telling you right here boom boom and boom those are your three poses looking saucy mighty fine i mean mighty fine floater decoy right there dive bomb they came through again not the first time this is the third year of me working with dive bomb them working with me and not working together but them going beyond and helping the channel so like i said if you guys are looking for decoys go down in the description hit the dive bomb industries link go check out their decoys they have a lot more than decoys too they got a lot of tools they got a lot of new products that are hitting the ground running y'all so go over there check them out they're my buddies they're awesome they have awesome products Oh, am I glad to have this dude home? Yeah, daddy's glad to have it home, dude. He's glad to be home. Look at him. This morning, took him hunting, and I haven't seen him that happy in so long. Telling you what, the first bird in his mouth, he raced back to me. He was so proud. <sighs> it's going to be a good year, guys. 2020 is getting better by the day, it seems. But I want to thank you all for being here. Y'all are amazing. Subscribe if you haven't. I, I just checked. We're at like 43, probably 44% of y'all that have not subscribed. So if you're looking to uh, enjoy waterfowl hunting here on YouTube all season long, you found the spot. This is where it's happening. Waterfowl hunting all season long, y'all. Hit that notification bell because it'll notify when your boy uploads and when Fred uploads. Oh, yeah. But I appreciate y'all being here. Big shout out to Dive Bomb yet again. Cody, Asher, Nick, Cade, y'all are amazing. I love you guys. But until next time. Peace. I've been getting laid back, baby. You should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism.